fear of the unknown. There are many kinds of fear in the world of the known. However, the greatest fear in the world is the fear of the unknown. Mind is covered. It is always afraid of the unknown. If you have to meet a strange person, there is fear. If there is a situation which is not familiar to you or you are not known, you are not aware, it remains unknown and the fear. Hence the world at large perhaps may never be ready. Not that it does not feel the thirst, certainly it feels the thirst and there is, but it has not the courage to recognize it. Mind does not have the courage to recognize the unknown, recognize the dangerous. That means the beginning of a new search, new beginning, new seeking and once again moving into the unknown. Whenever problems inflict, conflicts and situation comes, we immediately move, to, move into security. Security means the known. You get into the problems with your boyfriend or girlfriend. You move away from the person. You immediately go under the shelter of your parents or the known. Parents means known. And that too, this known comes by birth. An unknown comes by your own choice. The moment you start searching, you become alone. If you do not search, you are surrounded by a vast crowd of believers, of people who have faith. The crowd gives you a certain warmth of coziness. It makes you feel that you must be right because millions of people are on the same path. You can be wrong, but so many people cannot be wrong. And if they are all moving in the same direction, it brings you a certainty. In the prime of our youth, there is courage. Courage to venture into the unknown. We move towards the unknown. We resist all kind of people who stop you in entering into the unknown. But later on, when the things do not move the way you want it, you move away from the unknown to the known. You can be wrong, but so many people cannot be wrong. And if they are all moving in the same direction, it brings us, you a certainty, a security. That is why people want to belong to a church, to a religion, to a dogma, to a creed and to an ideology, political, religious or social. However, they want to belong to a crowd. They do not have courage to stand alone. It requires tremendous courage to stand by your convictions, to stand alone even if the entire world does not support you. To stand alone the fears arises. Who knows whether you are right or wrong. To stand alone, there is coldness. To stand alone, you lose the coziness of the crowd. You lose the comfort. To stand alone, you lose the faith of the fanatic. To stand alone, you lose the authority of a long tradition. Tradition of Hinduism, tradition of Christianity, tradition of Jewism, tradition of Buddhism, tradition of temple, tradition of church, tradition of mosque. But if you recognize your thirst, you have to stand alone. 
and you have to walk alone because truth is never found by the crowd. It is never found on the super highway. There are not even footsteps which lead to it. As you search for it, as you walk, you create your own thoroughfare yourself. It is a very strange phenomenon. You do not have a footpath ready-made waiting for you which will lead you to truth or the temple of eternity. You have to walk and just by walking you have to create it not for others but for yourself. The master, those who are on the path, they can be of help up to a certain extent. But in the ultimate analysis, you have to walk on your own feet. You have to create your own footpath, your own thoroughfare. Each step is full of hesitation. There is fear and inner trembling. You cannot be certain because you do not have any map. You do not know any whereabouts. You are not sure. You are moving towards the truth or away from it. Certainly you are not sure. If you are moving towards the truth or away from it. That is why I say it needs tremendous courage. It needs courage of the gambler who can stake anything, learn from a gambler, who can stake anything for the next move, not knowing what is going to be the result, whether he is going to win or lose, but he is courageous to stake even everything. He may lose all or he may win all, all or none. That is the choice facing you on each step, each moment. When you are ready, all or none, you can move into the unknown. One who accepts the situation becomes more and more integrated, independent, together, centered, rooted and harmonious. And remember, bliss is the outcome of all this inner integration, independence, togetherness, centeredness, rootedness, and inner 